Hello everyone and welcome back to Crypto Empire where we dominate the crypto market. I am your host for today's live stream. My name is Connor and we have a lot to talk about in today's Crypto Empire Sunday live stream. The market has been slow. Bitcoin is in consolidation. So what does this mean for altcoins and which altcoins should we be looking at right now? That's what I'll be going over in this live stream. So I want to welcome everybody to the stream today. Let me know if you can see and hear me properly because I just, as you can see, the background is different. We just set up a brand new studio here. So I want to make sure that you can see and hear me properly before I really get started and, you know, dig into the content of today's live stream. So just confirm in the live chat if you guys can see and hear me. That would be amazing. Thank you. And I'm also streaming simultaneously on X. So that should be working properly as well but just let me know if you can uh see and hear me and we'll get into this let's go ahead and fix these settings all right cool All right, loud and clear, perfect. All right, guys, let's get into this. So Bitcoin right now is in consolidation at $65,000. Really not gonna go over the top gainers and losers because right now the meme coin market is still moving, but for the most part, all coins are in dead consolidation. So let's just take a look at Bitcoin and go over what we need to see from Bitcoin and what we need to look out for as well. So here we go. We're in a chop zone. This is the four hour time frame BTC. We are chopping between 62,000 down here is support and 68,000 up here as resistance. Everything in between here is simply just chop and slop. Not a lot going on. I would not be forcing any moves right now. <coughs> we just had a huge run up starting in early February. All coins exploded, especially AI cryptos. So definitely now is not the time to be, you know, trying to get into AI coins, right? That narrative just played out. We want to be looking at the fresh narratives that are going to take off next. And obviously, I'm going to be talking about what that is and what those are. I've already let you know that last week, and it really hasn't changed, but we'll be getting back into it. But as far as Bitcoin goes and what it means for all coins, so we have the 4-hour 100 simple moving average up here in our supply zone at $68,000. What needs to happen is we need to flip that back into support, and then we can attack the highs again and make our next leg up higher. If we cannot flip this zone, we will continue to chop. And if we break down here below 62K, we lose these lows, things can get ugly and we can get that 30% bull market pullback. That happens in every single bull market, right? It's a common thing to see those bull market pullbacks. We had it in the last run up. If we just go back in time briefly, we had it in the last run up when Bitcoin shot up to 42,000, we had a pullback down to 30, 29,000, 30%. Currently our pullback is give or take around 20%, 17% from high to low. All right, so if we are going to see a 30% bull market pullback, that means we are going down to $51,000. It's not a guarantee that happens, but if we do lose this support level at $62,000, it's very clear that there's nothing on the chart until 51000 That's also the daily 100 simple moving average catching right up to that level. So that's those are the two scenarios. It's really simple what's happening with BTC right now. We are at the all-time highs. And when we're at the all-time highs, it just kind of presents some kind of mania in the market, right? People are doing crazy things. People are acting off of emotions. And it's very easy, very easy for the market makers to set traps. So what is a trap? Basically, we run up to this current range high at 68, and then they dump it back down. Everybody starts longing all coins up here, thinking that we're going to pump to new highs. And then they just wreck it all back down. So what we want to see here is if we want to gain altcoin exposure, altcoins are going to follow Bitcoin. So if we want to gain altcoin exposure right now, we should wait until the bottom of our current range at around 62,000 to 60,000 to look for ideal entries. Because if Bitcoin drops down here to 62K, 60K, altcoins are going to take 10%, 15% hits. All right, so that's really all you need to know right now for Bitcoin. We're in a chop zone. We're going sideways. We have a clear level to break to the upside and a clear level to hold to the downside. And until one of those gets flipped, 
well, then we're just chopping around and there's no need to force any moves right now. Let me catch up with our live chat today and see what's going on. Shout out to Crypto Middle, Crypto Middle East and Africa. We got Black Sun. We got David W. Demarcus Jackson. Jeff Powell as well. Jason C. Michael Bradley. We got Mo. We got Raphael. What's going on, Raphael? Good to see you. We got Warren. We got Yash. We got Josh. Yeah, Josh, this is live on YouTube. We're just streaming it directly on X as well simultaneously. Kevin James asked me, what do, what do I think about Pirate Chain R? All right, I'll answer that question and then I want to move on with the stream and the content I want to cover. So Pirate Chain is a privacy coin that already had a bull run before. It already did extremely well in the last cycle. Right now, it does look bottomed out. So this chart doesn't really show it, but in the last run, let's see if we can find a chart with Pirate Chain in the last bull run. Yeah, here you go. This is what we're looking for. So in the last bull run, Pirate Chain down here at 20 cents, it goes up to like $17 for the all time high. Now it's been in this bear market and privacy is definitely, it's a risky narrative to play. I mean, I do own privacy coins. I'm not holding Pirate Chain right now, but the most evident thing to see here on this pirate chain chart is your daily bullish divergence forming. If there's one indicator that has successfully given me bottoms over and over and over again, it's bullish divergence on the higher time frames. And pirate chain, you know, the RSI is shaping up right now. You're seeing a lot of uh, strength of the upside right here, right? The bulls are kind of showing that, hey, we're in control. And we also do have a double bottom forming, or this could be classified as an inverse head and shoulders. All right, so this thing has not moved at all. While a lot of these other altcoins have been pumping, Pirate Chain has not moved, okay? So eventually, in a bull run, typically you'll see everything start to move. And long story short, Pirate Chain looks bottomed out here, right? A lot of signs, a lot of indications on the daily and weekly three-day higher time frames that, you know, this is, this is at a bottom or close to a bottom right now. So I don't love Pirate Chain. I'm not holding it myself. I'm holding other privacy coins. Not many, uh, but I'm holding other privacy coins. Uh, but the technicals on this chart right now, they do look primed to pump from you know 20 cents, 19 cents, where the price is at right now. We got Michael DJI Manor saying greetings to everyone. Shout out to Michael. We got Joshua saying, Connor, you're the man. I appreciate that, Joshua. Thank you for your support. Black Sun's playing some meme coins. All right, guys, appreciate you all being here. Shout out to All Day Dre. Steve Sabat, Trucker Steve, saying, have you looked at Based AI? Thanks, Trucker Steve. So I have looked at Based AI, and from everything that's being talked about right now, it's obviously very bullish, right? The creators of Pepe Coin, the original Pepe Coin ETH back in 2016, are also the creators of Based AI. Now, the thing with this project is right now, like I said just before, the AI narrative just had a really hot period. The iron was hot. The iron's cooled off right now. All right, so is a local top in for AI coins? Possibly. All right, they just had amazing runs up. I'm very bullish on AI coins, and I don't plan on selling AI, any AI coins right now. Maybe you could take profit on some if you're up huge, but I think they will have another run up this cycle again during the parabolic mania phase, and that's where 80% of the gains are made, right? The last 20% window of the bull run is where 80% of the gains are actually made. Anyways, based AI, it's being shilled by a lot of influencers. Um, it's being talked about a lot, and it's pumping right now. I don't recommend chasing after green candles, because most likely it will have a big retracement, and especially if Bitcoin, like we talked about, ends up either going back to 60,000, 62,000, or it breaks down and it wants to retest this trend line, right? retest this gap, maybe head back down for a 30% pullback. Based AI is probably gonna pull back heavily as well. <coughs> so it's a good project from everything that I've seen. I haven't looked into it extensively, but it's just an extended chart and I just don't wanna chase after something, um, especially when it's just being shilled so heavily by you know, so many people on YouTube and so many people on X. I have no problem kind of letting this one go because I do have conviction in the coins I already hold at that. 
you have to understand at this point in the cycle, like adding new projects, the project has to be exceptional to add it to, to a portfolio. If it's a short term trade, that's different. But at this point in the cycle, right, a lot of the projects out right now that are coming out right now aren't necessarily great. There's going to be a lot of good ones coming out over the next few weeks and months. A lot of deep in uh, projects coming out. Some of them look OK. I think they'll look good. But as of right now, it, it, a coin needs to be exceptional to add it to the portfolio. Right. So I, it's, like I said in this video I just made. Right. If you guys haven't watched this new video I released just one hour ago, I, I go over the portfolio, the mock portfolios I gave you in the ebook. And all you had to do basically was buy and hold. Right. Things start getting messed up and things start getting skewed when you start doing all these different things and you move all these pieces around and you sell this coin for this other coin, you do all this other stuff. There's been numerous studies that prove the best performing investments, the best per performing portfolio investments are from dead people because they cannot make all these changes and they don't act off their emotions. They simply just buy and then they just hold it, right? And these portfolios from deceased people outperform you know the active approach of constantly adding new things and going after all this stuff so my strategy is pretty clear right buy the best and forget the rest and let the market do what it does we're in a bull market so the market's going to go up anyways I'm not going to go off on too much of a tangent here but that's what i think about based ai let's see michael says welcome back connor how you doing i'm doing good michael Nice to have you back. Hope all is going well with you and you're really crushing it on all your picks. I also want to thank you once again for all the alpha. No problem. I appreciate it, Michael. Happy to be here. Uh, Layer zero airdrop. Did they announce it? I'm not sure they announced any airdrop from layer zero yet, but yeah, they probably will have their airdrop this year for layer zero as well as many other airdrops. And I've been pushing the base airdrop a lot because I think it will be like the biggest airdrop in crypto history. Uh, and I'm using farm base pro to farm it. I've also been showing you the active um, ways to farm in my base videos with this Rabby wallet account, right? I bought some meme coins that I'll be giving away some Toshi and some bread. I'll be giving this away as well, but I'm showing you how to interact with all these different protocols on base, right? You can do it manually or you can farm it like a professional, like I'm doing and really scale the operation to make a ton of money from these airdrops base linear scroll Solana airdrops using farm base pro. So yeah, I mean, Layer zero is not on here, but I think base is probably the best bang for your buck to farm currently. And it's really just a no brainer to use something like farm base pro make yourself like however many wallets you can afford 10, 15, 20, 25, whatever, and just let it run and then collect the rewards later on in the year when the airdrops hit. All right. So shout out to Silva Dalla. Can you please tell me about karate? Karate combat. So this is a token. It's taking a beating right now. Let's take, let's check this chart. Karate combat's a token and long story short, if you don't know what karate combat is, it's basically like the UFC, but for karate, like karate fighting, kickboxing essentially. <clears throat> and it's very big and very popular. Right, a lot of UFC fighters are watching it and showing up to their events. And they built out their coin on the HBAR, Hedera Hashgraph blockchain. And they have their full application as well. And essentially this coin, the Karate Combat coin, allows you to take part in the ecosystem and you can bet on the fights. And if you bet on the fights, you can multiply your karate holdings, right? You can you can grow your karate holdings. So they, they incentivize the karate holders. Now this chart, it's a bullish project. It's definitely a bullish project. There's been some other attempts at like these MMA tokens in the past and they have failed. Um, but this one had a really good run up from November, right? This is when the entire market took off. It went from, had a nice multiple here, right? It did over a 10 X from November to January. Now it's having its first major retracement after coming out of the bear market accumulation. And this is down 55%. So from this point, it does look like we will get a retest of that breakout, right? The breakout level was 0 0.0025 cents. 
that previous all-time high. It looks like Karate wants to come back down to that 0 0.0025 level. With that being said, if you do want to buy this project, you're only, okay, it's still another 20%. But like I say often, right, in a bull market, when you have a project that you're, say, bullish on, in this case, I don't know if you're bullish on karate or not, but when you have a project that you like and you want to get, sometimes it's not worth waiting for that extra 20% drop in price. Because if this thing goes to 10 cents, 20 cents, which, you know, is possible maybe, it's not going to matter that much. It will, but it won't matter that much if you buy it here or 20% lower. So it's always best to scale in and scale out. And you're down 55% from the highs. So it's a good time to scale into a project like this right now. Don't overcomplicate it. We're in a bull run. And, um, you know, the Karate Combat organization is spending a lot of their money and resources to put on these crazy, you know, hyped up events, getting really popular fighters to come. And, you know, putting a lot of publicity out there. They're in the press. They have a lot of eyes. A lot of people like Karate Combat. I like Karate Combat, right? I train Karate. Um, that's my original martial art that I started. So, yeah, I like it. I like the project. And um, good retracement right now. Demarcus Jackson says, how do you feel about Tau, Inu, and Zappacorn? Basically, meme coins for Tau. So I'm not too familiar with Zappacorn, but I know Tau Inu well. And I think Tau Inu will do great this cycle as a Tau meme coin. Looks like it's at the bottom end of its range. So you obviously want to see the bottom end of the range hold. Now this Zappacorn I mean, I have no idea. I've never heard of this project before, but it looks like every other meme coin chart. So, you know, if you're bullish on it, just came out of a massive retracement, starting to move up now. Just look for dips if you want something like this. But the Tau meme coin that I, th I think I'm most bullish on right now is Tau Shi. If you guys have been following me on X, I started a Twitter Spaces every Tuesday, right? Called Shitcoin Tuesdays. And we've done it for two weeks so far. And both weeks I've talked about Tao Shi, Tao Shi. And if there's any Tao meme coin that looks good right now, it's this one, all right? You're coming out of this bottoming, right? All the Jeets sold down here. Sellers have ran out of tokens and it looks like it wants to break this cup. So yeah, this would be the best Tao meme coin that I think has the best risk reward from current price right now. Tao Shi on Solana. Some of these other meme coins, uh, Toshi on base hit 200 mil. All right, so the position that I bought that I'm going to be giving away in my video earlier in the week, I put in 100 bucks. It's at $155, right? So that's a 55% gain on this so far. And, you know, this one as well with Brett, I would say have the, the two biggest highest chances of going to that billion dollar market cap as base meme coins. Tao Shi right now, or not Tao Shi, uh, Toshi is at 200 mil. And Tao Shi, uh, sorry, not Tao Shi, Brett. <laughs> Getting confused over here with all these meme coins. Brett is at 368 mil. All right, so these are like the top two coins on base and as far as memes go. You guys obviously know I'm bullish on Bridget. Bridget right now, 200K market cap. Um, I think this one's going to explode eventually. Uh, I've been holding it. So yeah, I mean, not financial advice at all, obviously, but... Base meme coins, as far as they go, the leaders, Toshi, Brett, my kind of gamble, degen play that I think has insane risk reward is Bridget. Really funny meme coin too. As with these other memes, Bobo on ETH has a very high probability relative to all these other meme coins to go to billions. And right now it's at a 62 and a half mil market cap on a nice retracement. So I'm bullish on Bobo. I'm actually not holding any Bobo right now, which is <laughs> maybe I should get some because I keep on talking about it. But yeah, I mean, if you guys don't know, I, I got Bobo at a one mil market cap last year, like a year ago in the spring, wrote it to like a 20, 30 mil market cap and exited. Anyways, it went back down to one mil, shot up to 120 mil. Now it's at 60 mil. So yeah, I think Bobo on ETH has staying power. I think it has legs. And um, 
as far as meme coins go on Ethereum, uh, Bobo is definitely one of the top ones. And then, I mean, because we're talking about memes, I'll talk about some other memes that I like. Still bullish on Big Mike. Uh, you guys, looks like everybody's getting out of it, but I think that's a foolish move. I think this is going to have a really hard comeback later on at some point in the future. I mean, as you guys know, call this in the Discord at like a 90K market cap. Posted it on Twitter at like 100 something K market cap. Again, at a 300K market cap. But it appears that nobody really pays attention until the green candles come. So we pumped. Um, somebody destroyed this chart. And we are back down at the accumulation range. But I'm still bullish on this project. Just like Bobo went from 1 mil to 30 mil, back down to 1, then to 120. I think Big Mike can do exactly the same. So I'm holding that one. And um, one more meme, because we're talking about memes right now. We got Andy on Blast. So the Blast Network, another Ethereum layer two. And Andy on Blast was called in the Discord on March 16th at a 2.74 mil market cap. All right, it's currently at a 5.45. Basically, it's up 2x right now from the Discord entry. But this chart looks bullish. It looks really bullish. You have a very clear ascending triangle here. All right? Every time prices come up into this area, sellers have sold. But look at the higher lows. Sellers are exhausted. It's time for this one to blow. So I've been holding this one. I am holding this one. And I, I like this. I think this could be one of the leading meme coins on the Blast Network. And the Blast Network is set to have an airdrop, I believe, in April or May. Don't quote me on that. It's just what I remember or recall. So when that Blast airdrop hits, you can see a lot of money and liquidity flowing on the Blast Network. That house money effect. Everybody gets airdrop free money, so they gamble it on meme coins. Andy on Blast is my pick. For the one that's going to go ahead and explode from here already up 2x that's why you guys got to be in the discord to get the entries early and then still holding ken i'm deep in memes guys sorry <coughs> i'm actually not sorry because it's been paying off extremely well uh, but anyways ken do inu uh still holding this one and still bullish on ken do shaitoshi kusama the creator of shiba inu is rumored to be partnered up with this team and is going to be making some announcements in the future. So that's the narrative. We'll see if the narrative works out. Anyways, enough about memes. Let's focus on the actual market and the altcoins that we need to be watching in the current moments in time. Zahid says, Slurf. What do you think about the future of Slurf? Yeah, so Slurf was that meme coin presale where the developer went ahead and burnt all the presale tokens in liquidity. So it's looking like the hype has started to die down right here on Slurf. I mean, it's a joke. It's a funny story. The reason Dog With Hat went so viral was because the developer, the guy who made the coin and you know took that picture of the dog with the hat, he ended up selling all the tokens. He made the, the contract. It was his project. He sold all the tokens for like $40,000 within like the first week. He like basically tried to rug pull the project and then it was a community takeover and they took it over and now it's the biggest meme coin. All right, so you know that was a really funny story. The story with Slurf isn't as authentic and organic, right? It could be a, could be a covert operation. Um, so yeah, we'll see. But you wanna see some kind of long bottoming out period if you wanna accumulate something like Slurf. It could have staying power, but it's super de de degenerate and high risk. That's the way I would describe it. Shout out to Federico Garcia saying, Connor, how are you, mate? I'm doing good. Good to see you. It's Fede from Australia. It's been a long time, mate. It's been a long time from those Aussie days. What do I think about Phantom right now? So Phantom is hot. <laughs> Weekly chart, we're over a dollar. Past four weeks have been up only vertical. And we are tagging this red supply area on the chart. So yeah, this is what a bull market looks like, guys. Right? Vast expansion and repricing to the upside. 
Now, Phantom has Andre, their founder, to just aggressively bull post all bull market long. The guy knows how to pump a token, his token. And at that, Phantom is, you know, they're, they're constantly updating and with the times and staying relevant. So it's definitely a bullish project. It's not something I would hold, you know, being that it's already gone through a cycle before. My strategy is pretty clear at this point. So this thing's very extended. Now we'll see what happens with BTC here. If Bitcoin goes down to say 62K, like I said, I think we can see altcoins get kind of slaughtered a bit. So I wouldn't be surprised to see FTM lose this level at $1 and then head back down to 95 cents to around 88 cents here. But yeah, I think Phantom will continue to do well this cycle. It could potentially be one of the old altcoins that makes a new all-time high. That's only like a 4x away from here, which isn't that much. 3.5x away from here. But dilution is definitely a factor. So if we look at the market cap at the peak of the last cycle, the market cap was $8 billion. All right, and currently the market cap is... Yeah, so that's pretty on, pretty on par, right? If it does a 3x, it will be back at those highs. Yeah, I mean, um, Phantom can make, it could be one of those altcoins from the last cycle that goes ahead and makes a new all-time high. It's definitely, it has that potential. Shout out to Raja over in Copenhagen. Adorento David says, thank you for all you've been doing, Connor. Is there still hope to make games after the bull run? Well, first of all, you're welcome. I'm glad that you're, you know, enjoying all the content and learning. Will there still be gains to make after this bull run? Absolutely, there will. A lot of people say that this is going to be the last crypto bull run ever. I'd say it's going to be the last bull run of this kind because regulations are going to come in. And these meme coin launches on all these decentralized exchanges, these will be a thing of the past when these when these regulations hit. So enjoy the meme coin casino right now. It won't be around after this cycle. All right, they're gonna lock down DEXs and like restrict and make everybody do KYC and all this garbage. So this is the last cycle of its kind, but there will be more bull markets. There's always gonna be new projects launching, right? Look at projects that launch in the bear, stuff like ATOR, OXO. All right, if you got those in the bear market, they, they still went up like 50X before the bull run even started. So there's always opportunity, no matter what. So yeah, this isn't gonna be the last bull run. And also, right, crypto isn't everything. There's, there's going to be a huge AI bull run going into 2030, right? There's going to be a lot of new AI startups, AI crypto coins. There's going to be opportunity everywhere, all right? That's why you have to make your gains this cycle and then look to compound it after this cycle, right, and the next opportunity. And I think AI, there's going to be a huge AI bull market, you know, after this cycle, after 2026, leading into 2030, AI is going to just take over our entire life. And there's going to be a lot of investment opportunity with AI coins, new startups, AI stocks, etc. So yeah, there's there's always going to be more opportunity to make gains, no matter what. Yash says, "Are you bullish on Space Mesh SMH?" Yes, I am. As I've said here on the channel uh, many times in the past, I, I like Space Mesh as a project. It's definitely a bullish one. Potential unicorn, right? Current market cap 108 mil. So it's not too high, right? This is still a good entry here. With with where this can go, this has the potential to go over $100 per coin. Right, that would be a 20x or so from here. So yeah, I'm bullish on Space Mesh. What do I think about DOP? They have a pre-sale tomorrow. I've never heard of DOP. No idea what it is. Michael Bradley, Connor, thanks for all your honest guidance and integrity in the market. We all appreciate you. No problem. Glad that you guys are uh, learning from it. Any thoughts on coins like D-Moon, Dollar Moon? No, I have no idea what that is. Dollar Moon on the Binance Smart Chain. So you had a nice pump. Now everybody's taking profit. Seven mil market cap. It's 
go to the weekly chart. Yeah, I just have no idea what this is. Um, charts already pumped. Looks like a meme coin. I don't know, man. I would stay away, but could be wrong. Uh, I have not heard of Volt, no. Domi or the other one. Yeah, so Domi Online is I'm pretty sure what you're referring to. And Domi Online is an altcoin that I've been holding, not from the bottom bottom, but pretty dang close to the bottom, right? This was called in the Discord at in this candle here, right? On the first kind of move up. We called this in the Discord at 0 0.008 cents, below a penny we got our entry into Domi Online. And this is a project on the Beam uh, gaming network on AVAX. And it's a very bullish one at that. So yeah, I mean, we're up we're up huge, right? We already caught the move from 0 0.008 to 9 cents over a 10X. Pull back, we're now at 5.6 cents. On the daily, dailies in consolidation, higher lows. I mean, the chart's definitely um, shaping up well, in my opinion. If you're looking for an optimal level to get into Domi from here, you can set some limits at, say, 0.4 or 4 cents. 4.4 down to 3.6 cents for Domi. But yeah, I think Domi has a lot higher to go this cycle. First bull market, the game is built. They're in their alpha right now. The graphics look insane. Um, so yeah, if I'm, this is like the individual, I don't have a lot of individual gaming projects. My gaming coins are mostly gaming studio coins where they're building a variety of games. But Domi Online is the one gaming coin I hold that is specific to just one game. And it's dependent on the success of this one game and um, I'm putting my money where my mouth is. I've been holding this one basically from the bottom and I think it has a lot higher to go. I wouldn't be surprised to see it end up somewhere around $1 when it's all said and done. And right now it's at 5.6 cents. But yeah, I'm, I'm really bullish on Domi and I'm not gonna look at the other one you asked about. Raja sold R for Cubic. That's a very smart decision in my opinion, Raja. Cubic is the only of its kind. It's a very intricate, unique, in-depth project, whereas most people just don't understand what it is. And that's why it gets called all these things like a scam and whatnot. Because people just, they can't wrap their head around the complexity of what this is. Proof of useful work, you know, their AI Garth, basically building out a decentralized AGI. If you don't know what AGI is, it's the God God mode AI where it just knows everything. It's smarter than any human. It's, it's just like, it knows everything, AGI. Cubic is building decentralized AGI. It's like, it has so much upside. It has so much upside. We're already up um over 10x on it from current price right if you got the entry that i gave on youtube as well in my telegram but I first gave it of course in the discord but yeah i mean even if you just um found it from my from my videos back in november um you know you'd be up 10x as well not financial advice I have to say that but you guys know the deal <laughs> um but yeah cubic is is a gem Nothing compares to it, and I feel comfortable as it is the largest holding in my portfolio. So, some might call it crazy high risk. People said the same thing about Tau when Tau was fifty bucks, and that was my largest holding. It worked out well, pumped well, right? Made a lot of gains. Now Cubic is my largest holding, so I would not be surprised to see it melt faces and just leave all the people that didn't believe in it in shock later on this cycle. So we got Michael DJI Manor. 
you guys don't know, Michael's a gem hunter. He's been here for like years, probably three, all three years I've had this channel. Michael's been all the live streams and he's always sharing gems. Everybody who was here in the bear market should know Michael well, but he says, what do I think about ATR, AirSwap, AST, and Nimble? So Art Trade ATR, I've never heard of this one. Uh, <clears throat> not sure why it's not coming up on CoinGecko, Michael. Here we go. One month old on Solana. Pumped, 12 mil market cap, 13 mil. <laughs> NFT marketplace for real world assets, okay. So, I'm not crazy bullish on real world assets. I hold Rio, been holding Rio, been shilling you guys Rio from the bottom. Not the bottom bottom, but the 12 cent local bottom. Um, but yeah, something like this, I would need to look into it more extensively to give you my thoughts and opinions on it. <clears throat> but I would be looking for a potential trend line break here uh, for better, better buying prices if this is something you like. All right, you have some pretty obvious demand levels on the chart. 1.5 cents, 2 cents, so. And then AST air swap. I know well from the last cycle. And it doesn't look like AST has done much this cycle. Yeah, it's still at its bottom. So look guys, this thing's been around from 2018. It's been through, it's been through, this is its third cycle. There, I wouldn't go for a coin in its third cycle. They already had two opportunities to, I mean, they already did well. You know, it went from two cents to 70 cents in the last run. But uh, yeah, that, I just wouldn't chase after something that's in its third cycle now. Go for the new shiny stuff, like I always say. And then Nim and Nimble. Another one I haven't heard of. Gonna assume it's this one. Nah, it looks like a rug pull. I don't know, I can't find that one. Nibi, N-I-B-I, what is this? Yeah, I don't know. Michael, I don't know where to find these ones you're asking me about, man. Shout out to Rigoberto Chavez Jr. in the live chat. All right, enough of your questions. Let's go over what we should be looking at right now. So as I've said many times, AI has pumped. Expecting AI to cool off a little bit. So where should we be focusing? Well, gaming. Real world assets, yeah, they're starting to move right now, but gaming, if we look at these charts, stuff like ApeCoin barely moved off of its bottom down here at a dollar. Pulling back for two weeks as well. Sand, so sand is looking extremely bullish here. On the weekly time frame, this is your bear market accumulation, breakout, retest, leg up, breakout against the next resistance. Now you're retesting, right? So these higher cap gaming coins, Sand, Axie, Mana, they're telling us something. They are foreshadowing what's going to happen next. Sandbox looks ready to rip on the weekly time frame. You're about to flip the, flip the weekly 100 moving average as well, this, this blue line. All right, that's going to be, that's, there's, not, there's not a more bullish signal than a flip of a weekly 100 simple moving average. So gaming's going to pump next. Axie, same thing. 
right? You have Axie's bear market accumulation. You break out, pull back, you break out again on a huge resistance. Now you're retesting that, putting in a bullish hammer candle, flipping that 100 weekly simple moving average. The signs are clear as day. Gaming didn't really pump at all during that February market wide move we had, right? That was really all AI and like layer ones. Gaming barely moved. These gaming charts right now on the high market cap coins, which money will flow into first and then it will flow into the lower market cap gaming coins, ones that I hold, they're telling us that the, like we're, we're on the launch pad, ready to blast off basically. <coughs> Mana, same thing. All right, this chart is nuts. Let's just get rid of all this. So again, flipping that weekly, all these, they look identical. All these charts look identical. Mana, Axie, Sandbox. These are like the three biggest gaming coins. They're all telling us that this sector of the market, this narrative is gearing up for a huge move to the upside. So what should you be doing? Well, I've made it pretty clear. I don't really hide the coins that I like in regards to the gaming niche. Um, Naka is the largest holding in the portfolio currently. And um, something like Naka, it's already quite high compared to a lot of these others in market cap. So yeah, if you're in from lower, just ride it up. The trend is your friend until the very end. And the trend is up right now. Naka at 170 mil market cap. It does have a long way to go. They just got listed on a ton of tier one exchanges. Really bullish on Naka. It's, it's really kind of the, the best option safest option but like i said unless you have a ton of capital i wouldn't really be focusing on stuff like naka right now prime as well prime's extremely bullish but look at this chart we're no longer at three dollars when i was kind of shouting from the rooftops that prime is an amazing project and that you know a th sub three dollar entry is going to be legendary Right, we're not in October 2023 anymore, and Prime's no longer at three bucks. It's at $22, you know, it's up 7X from entry. It doesn't make sense to chase after this right now unless you're playing with huge capital, right? My targets for Prime, I'm looking at around 90 to 100 bucks. So yeah, I mean, it will go up, but again, I think there's better gains to be had elsewhere. Unless you're already holding it, it doesn't necessarily make sense unless you go in with huge size. Gala's trash, would not recommend holding Gala. PYR, it's not the best, it's not the worst. I just would go after something newer. And the chart's looking good. Two week pullback right now. Re retesting a previous support resistance flip. I don't hold PYR. I've been telling a lot of my, my group members have been asking me, should I hold PYR? I've been holding it. I'm like, look, I think you'll be get better returns elsewhere. So yeah, PYR is decent, but not my favorite. Wagme, another one that's decent. Wagme Games. 45 mil market cap currently. So it's still sub 50 mil. But there's some other ones that are lower that I think will do better. But yeah, Wagme is definitely a bullish gaming project. Sidus. Sidus starting to move on the weekly over here. All right, if there's ever an indication of what's going to pump, right? When you see Sidus start to break out, it's a good sign. And then Senate. Senate starting to move as well after a steep pullback. Just went over my thesis on Domi. Uh, Cedify, again, it's it's a higher cap coin at this point. And it doesn't make sense to hold Cedify unless you have a ton of capital. right? And what you do with this token is you lock it up, you stake it, so that you get into all the new gaming pre-sales. But you need to lock up a ton of Cedify right 
multiple five figures worth to even get somewhat of a decent allocation. So, you know, again, unless you're playing with huge size, something like Cedify doesn't really make sense. But yeah, Cedify is definitely going to go up. I see you making a new all time high this cycle. Hello. Eh, it's okay. G fell. It's okay. Lit. Very meh. I went over the TA last week with this falling wedge, and it looks like people just sold it, and it broke down through support. Um, but yeah, never been really a huge fan of lit. Um, had a good pump, but sellers are in control currently. We'll see what happens if it recovers or not. It's not the worst. It's definitely not the best, though. Now, something like Miria, new project, um, really bullish. People running their nodes, developing games, um, has a lot of hype behind it. So Miria is a decent one, especially if you're looking for a gaming project to kind of get into now. It's a decent option. High market cap, 170 mil. Same as Naka. Um, yeah, Naka and Miria, they're both good to get into now. Three bull, bullish on three bull as well. Uh, Play Zap, meh. Now, Game GPT Duel. I mean, look, I like this one because I hold it and I've been holding it from like 0 0.007 cents. Right, I bought the bottom of this. I'm up like 13x on it or so. So yeah, bullish project too. They just did a huge rebrand to incorporate AI as well as gaming. Right, they're now an AI-driven game builder. So I like this project. I've been keeping up with them on X or Twitter. Team is active. So I think that this one has some potential from here and it's still only a 16 mil market cap. So something like dual, higher risk, but immense upside. Epic Prime, I do like this project. This one launched in the last cycle middle of the last cycle did well during the gaming craze uh, but it hasn't truly experienced a full cycle yet and they have they have a lot going on at, over at epic so this one is decent and it's at a huge retracement right now too right it had a huge pump over here when gaming took off in 2023 october november multiplied from 0 0.003 up to 3 cents. It did a 10X. It's now pulled back like 60%, right back to your daily 200 EMA. Um, so if there's ever a time to take interest into a bullish project, it's after a huge retracement, right back to your EMAs, finds its solid ground, find its, finds its support. Something like Epic makes a lot of sense right now. Uh, Fusionist Ace, sellers are in control here. With that being said, Binance Incubated Launchpad Project Fusionist Ace. So typically Binance coins do well. Something like FET, Fetch AI is actually a Binance Incubated Project from all the way back in like 2018. Um, yeah, when Binance is involved, typically the coins will pump, especially if they're good. And Fusionist Ace fits into that category. Not showing the full market cap right now, but regardless, I think Ace is going to pump and do well. Why is that? Well, look at the chart structure, guys. New coin. What happens with these new coins over and over and over and over again? Well, they pump on launch, then they bottom out, they go into accumulation, and then typically if the project is successful, what happens? It eventually breaks that all-time high and it goes into price discovery, and there's no looking back. That's why I like the new coins. They're a lot easier to trade and very clear defined levels to break. You pulled back right to the 50% retracement from the, the listing candle. I think Ace is a good one now. Uh, 
GamerCoin GHX, really bullish. People are calling this one the render of gaming. Um, it's already pumped though, so I think it will continue to do well, but I will look for something unpumped. Something like Sleepless AI, another new gaming metaverse project incubated by Binance again, which is a good sign. It's new. Um, it tried to break out into price discovery, got pushed back down. Now it's in this channel. So, and you're in demand, you're in a demand zone too. So sleepless AI, I think is gonna pump. High market cap, 214 mil, new coin though. Anyways, they're building out um, this dystopian future world where you basically have like a AI girlfriend or if you're a chick, you have an AI boyfriend and you spend all your time um, with this virtual like companion scary 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 thing but uh hey that's where the world is going <laughs> so you might as well invest into it anyways chart looks bullish in demand right now new coin i think it's going to do well and then this one awt lost this level here in demand creo is bullish too creo will do well anyway so that's my take on the gaming market right now folks hope you guys enjoyed that little rundown of my gaming watch list Gaming is going to be the next narrative to pump. So if I was going to be accumulating, you know, buying anything right now, it would be gaming coins primarily. I would be looking to stack up my gaming coin bags um, because concentrating your capital is the quickest way to grow your portfolio. It's higher risk because you have less exposure to the market overall. But when you concentrate your capital, if the coins that you concentrate into end up pumping and multiplying, that's how you really quickly start to see your portfolio grow in numbers. And I'm calling it, we'll see if I'm right, but gaming right now is where I would be focused for the next leg up, the next narrative to pump. The signs are all there. It didn't really move at all in February when all the AI coins and everything else started to move. So that's where I would be focusing on. And you wanna focus on the quality, buy the best and forget the rest. You don't have to stress yourself out chasing after every new coin that launches. Right, do your fundamental research, your fundamental analysis. Create your thesis and then stick with it. Don't overcomplicate it. Let's catch up with our live chat, see what's going on over here. Orlando says, is it too late to jump into Relio? No, it's not too late to jump into Rio, but I just wouldn't chase after it now. Right, we are eating with Rio. We are eating with it. This is up like 15x. Right, this will be added to the list of 100x calls by Crypto Empire by the end of this cycle. You're not late, but listen, if you want to buy this candle, there's something flawed with your thesis of buying coins, right? You're succumbing to FOMO. You are you're you're acting off of emotions if you want to buy Rio right now when you see this. You know, where were you down here? Where were you over here? Why why are you trying to buy it now after it's putting in the biggest green candle on the chart that it's ever had. So no, you're not too late for Rio. I'm holding out for higher from here, but it just doesn't make sense to go into an asset like this now, looking at this chart. You know, you miss the pump. When you miss the pump, you don't chase after the pump. You respect the pump and you look for the next coin that's going to pump. So that's my take on Rio. But yeah, congratulations to everybody. I mean... You already know Crypto Empire was there five months ago talking about Rio at 12 cents. I said in this video that I literally bought it. <clears throat> so there should be no confusion um, about the Rio, the Rio investment. And uh, yeah, conviction is paying off. Conviction is paying off here with Rio. Bojack on base. So the base meme coins are hot. But that doesn't mean they're all good. Now, this Bojack coin is another meme coin. There's nothing special about it. Just like every other meme coin on the base network. I mean, look, it already had its launch pump all the jeets are selling now looks like it's forming a forming a bottom 
down here at 0 0.006. So if there's ever a time to buy the meme coin, it's when it's down here at the bottom doing nothing. I'm not saying it's a good coin to buy, I don't know, but from a THR perspective, you want to buy low and sell high, this is low. <coughs> Shout out to Be Cool, asking me about Casper. So Casper is a coin that I got rid of months ago. Um, I'm not holding any Casper anymore and I have not been. I made that clear in my Discord. So if you didn't know that, you're probably not in the Discord so you didn't get that update. But yeah, I, I let this one go, man. Not interested in this coin anymore. You have all the people that love the ISO 20022 coins and they think Casper is going to be like the greatest enterprise level blockchain ever. I mean, I hope it works out for you guys. I truly do. But um, I have my eggs in other baskets and this thing has not moved at all. So that's a slightly concerning. There's way better assets to be holding than Casper. Jasper says, do you follow Wyckoff principles when finding coins? No, I do not follow Wyckoff principles. I follow the principles of supply and demand and price action. The most simplistic way of looking at charts is what I follow. It all comes down to supply and demand. Do I know of a project launching soon or pre-sailing? Yes. Uh, the Crypto Empire Premium Discord just got access to a pre-sale on base, not a meme coin, actual legitimate project. So that's what's on the horizon there on base for us. Adorento says, your take on DNX and one cat. So my stance on DNX is still on bullish on it. I like the narrative, right? Neuromorphic supercomputing network. As far as the TA goes, we have our range, range high, $1.32, range low, $0.50, cents. middle range, $0.95, cents. you're below the mid-range. Right? Ideally, if you're going to buy something, you want to buy it below the mid-range, the bottom third. So maybe this comes back down to like $0.75 cents and you catch a better entry, but I think it will eventually break out of this range and go into price discovery. And then one cat gaming project on bitcoin also building like a bitcoin layer two what i like about one cat let's find the chart that i already have marked up there we go what i like about one cat is again the new coin structure you pump on launch you retrace you bottom out Right, buyers start coming back in. Now look, we're at this trend line. We want to see this trend line hold. Things could get a bit messy if we break this trend line. And that will depend on say Bitcoin and the overall market at large, right? But if we do break this trend line, we could see a dip back down to like 0 0.006, 0 0.0064. But anyways, that's all noise. That's all short-term noise. What we want to be focusing on is the bigger picture. And what is the bigger picture telling us? Well, when a new project launches, if it's going to be successful, it follows the same kind of chart pattern as all the other new successful projects. Initial launch pump, bottom out, start to reaccumulate, start to take off. The real fun happens when you break the all time high, right? One cat has the chart. It has the chart structure to go ahead and follow in the path of these successful new launch coins, right? Definitely a little bit concerning on this trend line right now, whether it's going to roll over or not. If it can hold this 0 0.0094 level, that would be great. From there, we want to break one penny, and then we want to go into price discovery. But yeah, one cat's bullish as well. One cat keeps giving airdrops. Yeah, if you're using, um, if you're like using their tokens and bridging them and doing what they're telling you, they're giving you a lot of airdrops. Trader Joe is looking good. 
Thoughts on Trader Joe? Well, it's a Dex on AVAX. And AVAX has been doing well. It is looking pretty decent, huh? So this is interesting. We'll see if this is going to make a new all-time high this cycle. I mean, it has the chart on the weekly to make a new all-time high. All right, you launched at the end of the last cycle. Bear market starting to move up now. I mean, this could be one of the coins from the last. It's this is kind of its first full cycle. So yeah, this could this could make a new all-time high and go three dollars plus. I just think there's better opportunities out there with other coins that are going to give you more returns. Uh, but yeah, this isn't the worst pick. And the chart on the higher time frames is looking looking very bullish. Ondo. So my thoughts on Ondo coin, look, I was talking about Ondo a lot um, when it first went live, right? Back a few months ago when I, when I was in Australia, my live streams, I was talking about Ondo every week when it was down here saying that it's good. And um, I didn't buy any, but hey, I traded it a few times on perps. But yeah, if I was just holding spot, be up 4X from the bottom. Anyways, yeah, this chart is very bullish. BlackRock, it's not necessarily a BlackRock coin. Um, they are rumored to be involved, but just off that narrative and hype alone, you're seeing it rip and pump right now. So it's a decent one. I just wouldn't chase after these huge green candles right now. Shout out to Reverend Flashback saying, hi, Connor, how are you doing? Great to see you. I'm doing well, Reverend. It's good to see you as well. Bitcoin price at the end of this year. I mean, at the end of this year, that's anybody's best guess. Nobody knows. Higher than it is now. It depends when we top out this cycle. We could top at the end of this year. But, um... There's a good chance that Bitcoin's higher than where it is right now at the end of 2024. Jasper says, I disagree with the Domi graphics looking insane. Looks like World of Warcraft back in the RuneScape day. Or back in the RS day. Well, hey, that's a subjective take. My take is subjective. Everybody is free to have their own opinion. Flurry coin, never heard of it. Shout out to PT Minato saying, my man Connor Kakashi. Kakashi Sensei. Yeah, I mean, Kakashi is the GOAT. So is Minato, but I mean, that's a compliment. Thank you, Minato. I appreciate that. Anyways, Big Mike. We already went over my thoughts on Big Mike. I think it's going to do really well. And um, yeah, a lot of short sighted people selling now. That's fine. I'm still holding a huge bag of it. Michael Scruggs says, if you missed OXO, is it worth adding to the portfolio now with this dip? Or do you wait and catch something else new and early? That's a very good question, Michael Scruggs. Let's talk about that. So if you missed OXO, what do you do? Well, again, I haven't hit my price targets. I haven't kept that exclusive to my premium group. I've said it many times and I'll say it again. My price target for OXO is four to six bucks. So is it too late? No, right? That's over a two X to $4. If it happens and if I'm correct, but I think I will be. So no, you're not too late. Can you go chase after something else or go look for something else you can? But the thing with OXO is it, there's still a degree of risk involved as with any crypto project. But at the same time, right, the market is telling us that this asset has a lot of demand. 
they haven't really fully launched their privacy decks either yet. When that happens, we're all going to be trading, you know, all of our memes and everything on chain will be through the OXO exchange because it's going to be private. And the holders are going to be making a ton in fees, which is very bullish for price action. So if you like the project a lot and you want to get into it, no, you're not too late for OXO. Right, I think you got a clean 10x from here. Not financial advice. Trading Marcus says, guys, I won't say it again. If you're looking for base memes to 50x to 100x, then look at Bojack. My man is shilling Bojack. My man is working for his bag. That's what you guys got to do, right? If you're holding memes, you got to work for that bag. My man is giving you guys a clear example. Let's see what's going on with Bojack. I mean, look, it's a funny meme, right? It's funny. I get it. Base Wojak on base. It's stupid. It's extremely stupid. But hey, welcome to the meme coin market. And like I already said with this thing, right? If you like the coin, you want to buy low and sell high, you're low. Right? As uh, what's, what's that guy's name? Flo Rida. You're low, 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 low right now. So if you like it, then uh, good luck. Have fun. Sid says, where do you buy Cubic? You buy it on Safe Trade. Safe.trade. This website right here. Safe.trade. Joshua, are you realizing a new portfolio on your premium Discord like the ones on the free ebook? So yeah, Joshua, great question. I, I got a lot of questions, um, especially after I just made that new video. People asking me, you know, if I have 20,000 bucks right now, like what should I do? If I have $50,000 right now, what should I do? So yeah, my Discord, I'm going to go ahead and make some, some new portfolios, starting with specific amounts, how I would allocate. So I will be doing that. And uh, just, th this is the last week you guys can get into the Discord on a monthly option, right? Everything is changing after this week the entire structure. So if you want to lock this deal in, this is your last week to do so. Completely up to you. I'm fine with or without you, but if you guys want to join, a come on board, uh, this is your last chance to get in on a monthly rate like that. AUX says, Connor, I rate your channel highly. I would love to hear your thoughts on ALPH Alephium. Well, thank you for rating my channel highly. Alephium is bullish. It's a very bullish proof of work project. Shout out to Michael DJI Manor. Back in December 2023, a few months ago, he was here in the live stream comment section saying that Alephium was is the next Caspa. At the time, Alephium was trading for 90 cents. Right now, it's 2:34. So, I mean, Michael Michael's on the money, man. <laughs> Michael calls gems left and right. Anyways, Alephium is a great project. Really bullish. I cannot say anything negative about it. If you're holding this one, good on you. Now, my TA is coming to fruition. We broke the trend line here. All right, now we're filling, we filled this circle, we filled this area. Ideally, it holds this, this level at 225, but if you do break down, you know, you could be looking as low as $2 to $1.50 next. So you might have some great buying opportunities coming up on a really solid fundamental project in Alephium. Reverend Flashback says, Connor, I don't want to be Mr. Super Smart, but what you just said about AGI was the definition of ASI, not AGI. My mistake. Uh, but you, you knew what I was talking about. We got a super chat. Shout out to XEN Crypto Deutschland, my man from Germany. He says, good evening. Can you please take a look at XEN Crypto, sir? Thank you. For sure, we can take a look at that. Sorry, the super chat was 20 minutes ago. Didn't show. I, I'll get the uh, thing where you can see like super chats pop up on the screen. I'll implement that shortly for the next stream. But anyways, thank you for that super chat. We'll take a look at XEN right now. So, 
this chart this chart looks wow far drop i forget what this coin is is it something like hex where you like stake in and get interest is it one of those i could be mistaking it for something else But as far as the chart goes, you're at a key level. You're at a key level here on this yellow dotted line. Also the week, this is the daily 100 simple moving average. So you break out, now you're retesting. You wanna see this hold and if it holds, then this is probably going to be the bottom for the cycle, probably. We'll see though. Naraj says, insights on crown by third time games. I'm bullish on crown. I've been holding crown and uh, up 2x on crown. And I think it's got a lot more to go. JMP, cubic is only on safe trade. Is that a problem when volume comes to the market? Potentially. But the thing is, they just had their seamless epoch transition that's going to make it much easier to get listed on other centralized exchanges. So I do believe that this is going to get listed on a few other centralized exchanges soon. So all the safe trade woes will be a thing of the past, which is really good to see. Right here, March 20th. They, they upgraded from Epoch 100 to 101. Seamless epoch transitions nearly there. So uh, yeah, it's almost ready to get listed on a ton of other exchanges. So I wouldn't be too flustered about only being on safe trade and trade order right now. I think it's a great, um, great price for cubic for the long term. If you do come deeper into this, say 6,000 per billion area, that would be a much better entry. But um, this, this puppy's got a lot more in the tank. And like I said, it's my biggest position. Dre says, I remember the day I sold my 150,000 Casper coins for cubic around $1,200 per billion. Best move I made thus far. Yeah, Dre, that's a power move right there, my man. Good reallocation. Really good reallocation. Any thoughts on Karat? Alaska Gold Rush Karat is bullish. It's a good project, it's got, got good backers. Below a penny is good as well for accumulation. So yeah, it's a good one. I think it's gonna do well when gaming takes off. Super low market cap as well. <clears throat> How about QRPO? QRPO, another really bullish gaming project. And you broke your trend line, right? So you wanna see a move back to demand. Where's demand? Rally, base rally. I would isolate this candle and I'd be looking at 86 to 73 cents for QRPO. Price prediction for Caspa, one to three bucks. Thoughts on Zef, how high could it go? Uh, Zef can go to $1,000 plus per coin. Shout out to Brandon Willis. What do you think about the other Caspa? The fork of it, I would just stick with the main thing, man. I ain't going for derivatives out here. I'm going for the real thing. Right. If I want to buy a Bose brand new speaker, I'm not going to buy the knockoff version. I'm going to buy the Bose for the sound quality. Same same thing applies with Caspa. We got 141 views on X right now. Guys, smash up that heart button over on X. 
like this stream over on YouTube, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. We're gonna go ahead and start wrapping this up. We've been going for an hour and 12 minutes. So just to summarize this live stream, I like gaming coins right now. I think that narrative is going to do well in the coming weeks to months. Wait, I had an interesting question. Let me just see what somebody said over here. Natty718. Let me answer Natty's question before we wrap this stream up. Natty says, my AGI did a 25x and it's now tanking down to 12x. Should I sell and buy back while I'm still up? Or do you think AI will pump again the year? I think AI is going to do really well. I think AI is going to continue to do really well this year. Something like Delicium AGI, they have the best tech when it comes to like gaming and AI put together. I think that if you take an investor approach and you just sit on your hands, you will have much more than a 25x in the future. So what I think, not always right, but that's what I think. So yeah, AI will do well this year. I mean, I'm still holding big bags of AI coins because uh, I'm expecting much higher prices. Why else would I be holding AI, AI coins if I wasn't expecting higher prices down the line? Anyways, we're gonna wrap up the stream here. Look, um, the free ebook, it's, the, the terminology and the methods and the strategy apply. Obviously the mock portfolios don't really apply now. They're up 5X from when I gave them to you for free. Uh, so join the Discord if you want to find out, you know, what how to make a portfolio right now. I've been making a lot of content around that. Start farming your airdrops. I'm going to be making over a hundred grand from the base airdrop alone with farm base if all goes well, right? Obviously, they need to actually do the airdrop, and you know, all these wallets need to get it, which in theory they should. I'm expecting them to all get it. Uh, so yeah, start farming your airdrops, base, uh, scroll. Linea, all farming here with the EVM wallets, Solana. Uh, it makes zero sense to not be doing this, especially if you have some leftover ETH laying around and you don't want to gamble it on meme coins and actually put it to work to make more money. Uh, it's just an obvious thing to be doing. Watch my full video on Farmbase to learn more about that. This one here, Farm the Base Airdrop with Farmbase Pro. Watch that video for a full in-depth guide and why I really like that tool. Other than that, subscribe to the channel, like this live stream. You know what to do, fam. Smash it up. And hope you guys like the new studio. We're going to put some new additions. We got to put something on this wall over here. But overall, I'm liking the look of it. It looks pretty good. So I hope you guys like it too. Let me know in the comments if you guys like the new studio. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up right now. Hope you enjoyed the live stream. This is Crypto Empire signing off. My name is Connor. Have a great start to your week. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday if it's still Sunday for you.